what my father would tell us. You never want to hit your wagon to someone who has nothing to lose because they don't mind you incurring all the risks while they reap all the rewards. My name is Seneca Dunmore, also known as the Pine Size Powerhouse. And today, I want to help you understand why you should stop speaking for free. Now, don't get me wrong, there will be times where it might be in your best interest to forego a speaker fee, but that's not what we're talking about today. One thing I've learned about people in my six years as an international speaker is that those that pay, pay attention. Let's just be honest about it. People do not value free. Give you a prime example. In February of 2020, I hosted a business and marketing masterclass at one of the most exquisite restaurants in Houston. I had a handful of individuals who could not make it and volunteered to give their seats away to anyone that I chose. I found a few people in my network who I just knew would be ecstatic about coming to this masterclass because when I tell you, it was top of the line. I worked with the owner who is a world-renowned chef to hand select the menu. I had a DJ, I had a world-class photographer and videographer, gift bags, giveaways, I mean the whole shebang. And would you believe the individuals who were given a free ticket to enjoy all the luxuries that everybody else paid for didn't even show up. And guess what? I wasn't surprised. They didn't have any skin in the game. There was no risk for them. They had nothing to lose. So guess what? They didn't take it serious. They did not value the free offer. When you have something to lose, you move differently. You talk differently. And clients need to know that your value, what you bring to the table, has a monetary worth attached to it. The reason why LeBron James is one of the most physically dominant players in the NBA is because he spends over a million dollars a year taking care of his body. We're talking personal trainers, chefs, cryotherapy, hyperbaric chambers, massage therapists, special equipment. All that stuff ain't cheap. That level of investment off the court is the reason why he is one of the best in the NBA on the court. It's the reason he can command a multi-million dollar salary every year. And guess what? It's no different for you as a professional speaker. The time it takes to prepare your talk and customize it, the research involved, synthesizing information, making sure you have credible and reliable sources, making sure it's meaningful and impactful, it's really the equivalent to LeBron preparing for a game. The only difference is his platform is the court and yours is the stage. Different platforms, equally significant gifts. He inspires people with his athleticism and you're inspiring people with your words. And guess what? Both of you deserve to get paid. Remember, you have a financial responsibility to yourself and your family. Don't let anyone devalue that by undermining your rate or making you think that somehow speaking for free is doing you a favor. Life and death are in the power of the tongue, which means that every time you open your mouth, you are either promoting life or perpetuating death. As professional speakers, we are literally changing the trajectory of people's lives with our words, and that is priceless. But don't get it twisted. Our gift of speaking, that requires a speaker fee. My name is Seneca Dunmore, also known as the Pine Size Powerhouse, and today I want to... <laughs> <laughs> ah!